Hell of a hell of a she's so fine. Hell of a hell of a blows my mind. Hell of a hell of a lights my day. Hey guys. Uh, so in researching the Kanika Jenkins case, and I was actually looking for something regarding Andrew Holmes, okay? I'll just be real honest with you. And I come across this article. And I remember this um, when it happened because, you know, it, it definitely made the news national news and so I was just kind of scanning through here and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read this so because some people may not even remember this but this says uh, Bridgeport Chinatown and McKinley Park crime and mayhem woman decapitated dumped in McKinley Park Lagoon was Southside mom it's wrote by Kelly Bauer and Ed Comenda November 16, 2016, 12.33 p.m. They updated it the next day at 8.27 a.m. So, this is the lady here. Alright. It says, Officials have identified the remains of a woman whose severed head was found in the McKinley Park Lagoon. On September 23rd, officials found a severed head and other body parts in the lagoon. On Wednesday, that person was identified as Cusola Mims, 20 of the 700 block of East 105th Place, by the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. A missing persons report was not filed for Mims, who was the victim of criminal damage to property two weeks before her head was found, sources said. The cause of Mim's death has not been determined, the morgue said. At a Wednesday news conference, community activist Andrew Holmes said a $1,000 reward will be given to anyone who offers information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person who murdered Mims. Quote, when you take it upon yourself to take whatever weapon that you took to sever this young lady's head off her body and dispose of her remains, you are cruel. Holmes said, you are not human, end quote. On the morning of September the 21st, the last day her family saw her, Mims left home to start a new job at a factory, Holmes said. She never made it to work. Around 10 a.m. on September the 23rd, a private contractor called 911 after finding remains in the McKinley Park Lagoon, according to Chicago Police. The contractor had been conducting a weekly cleaning of the lagoon. Mims left behind a one-year-old daughter, quote, who each and every day is asking for her mother, end quote, Holmes said. Holmes said he has been working with detectives on behalf of the family since Cruz discovered Mims' severed head. Quote, they are constantly working and constantly interviewing individuals, trying to see what type of information that they could come up with to bring closure to this case, Holmes said. The family is very upset because they have to make funeral arrangements, end quote. It's been difficult to make those arrangements, Holmes said. Mim's body is still missing. Quote, it's upsetting to the family, Holmes said, because how can you have a funeral with the rest of your loved one's remains? You don't know where they are right now, end quote. Holmes called on the city and neighborhood to come together to put the offender behind bars. Quote, come together and turn these individuals in no matter what crime they may have committed, Holmes said. The only way we can put an end to all of the violence in this city is to come together and not be afraid to turn these individuals in, end quote. Holmes asked that anyone with information about Mim's disappearance and death, to call 1-800-883-5587 or Chicago Police Detectives at 312-747-8382. So, once I read that, of course, I was curious to see, uh, you know, this was 2016, 
and I wanted to see if any developments had taken place since then. So, let me show you what I found. I also wanted to show a picture of Andrew Holmes behind the podium here. Um, it still says a thousand dollar reward, but I believe that they actually up that to two thousand. These are some smaller images of her. Um, so let me just show you what I found. So I found Miss um, Mim's mother on Twitter. And I thought, well, okay, that's a good source to see if anything had happened in the case. So I went back to her account. Um, that's 2014. Moving into 2015. Moving into 2016. Nothing. I found that a little strange, but it wasn't until... March the 20th of 2017 that the first sign of anything pops up and it says I'm raising money for Cusola's baby girl. Click to donate. So I click the link and it shows this image um, of I guess her in the morgue because they had no idea who that was and then a picture of her and it says that they raised a hundred dollars which I thought was pretty damn sad really now I understand this was 2016 um, but I mean come on that's really sad and of course the fundraiser is no longer accepting donations so um, uh, just pretty sad I thought a hundred dollars was shameful it's like a slap in the face. So I go back to her Twitter account. And I'm scanning through here. And it has this police release sketches of head found. Um, so that was a sketch. Not a picture in the morgue. But it's a dang realistic sketch. I'll give them that. And they were the police were looking for help identifying who that was. And it says they described her as an African American of unknown gender and possibly between 15 and 25 years old. Well, then on March the 23rd, 2017, and it could be, in all honesty, it could be that it took them, you know, a little while to even identify her. So here are pictures of her and her with her baby girl. Precious. Precious. Well, so I'm keep going through here. There's the little girl again. And everything now is a post about it. So from 2017 forward, it's very um, covered on this lady's Twitter page. So... And there's a picture of her, the grandmother, with the little girl. She says, Happy New Year. Now, it wasn't really doing anything for me as far as, like, anything catching my eye until I got up here. And we got the GoFundMe posted again in 2019. Now, here we go. She posts this. This the man who raped and cut Cusola Mim's head off and put it in McKinley Park Lagoon in Chicago. His daddy put a hit on her mom from Stateville. Two Chicago gangs have built a playground together to celebrate months of peace. All right. So I rolled up again. This was two days. This was on July the 16th of 2019. On July the 18th, she posts this. And she tweeted this to the Chicago mayor. All right. She says, at Chicago mayor, what about Cusola Mims, who head was found in McKinley Park Lagoon? 
in 2016. The person who raped and killed her, his name is Sherman Skullark, who was on the CBS News August the 10th, 2018, at 6.26 p.m. And his dad, who's in Statesville, Sherman Skullark, put a hit on them. Can we get the L? And then her reply to that um, post says, and made a video, Risky Band 104-000 UUU. Now, I don't have a link to the video, but um, there's this video from CBS Local about the guy that she's talking about. So, this uh, article says rival gangs build a band together to build playground. And it is from August the 10th, 2018 at 6.26 p.m. It says, Gangs entering Chicago parks is a chronic problem in the city's violence epidemic, but today the story was different. In the North Pullman neighborhood, rival gang members have joined forces with volunteers to help build a playground as a reward for eight months without violence in the neighborhood. CBS 2's Ma Martinez joined the volunteers at the park at 104th and Corliss Friday. Some of the gang members asked to hide their faces, but no one could hide their smiles when they saw their hard work come to fruition. The ceasefire began last October after gang members in the area decided they had grown tired of the violence, Martinez reports. Separated by a short distance of two blocks, the two gangs fought over the territory for many years. The playground is now a beacon of hope for children in the area. Gang member Sherman Skullark said, it seems that peace has finally trumped a small piece of the city's gang violence. And that's the guy she's speaking about. It's peace going on now. Or quote, it's peace going on now, Skullark said. They really could play. They don't need to worry about anything, end quote. Then there's this video, which I doubt will play, but it might. I can't get the videos to play for whatever on this um, article. So we'll see. Maybe it will. I don't know what it is about this article, but it's not liking it. It says Chicago police detective Vivian Williams called the gang wars, quote, senseless, end quote. She helped broker the deal for the ceasefire. Quote, several young men have been shot and some killed over a gang war that none of them even knew they were fighting about, end quote, Williams said. Um... Get back to Skullert down here. It says, Skullert said the newfound peace has been, quote, wonderful, end quote. Quote, you get to hang out, sit on the porch, and not have to feel somebody's jumping out of the car and start shooting, end quote, Skullert said. Quote, the kids can have somewhere to play peacefully, and both sides can come and enjoy themselves, end quote. Um, so that is an image of him, but for whatever reason, the video won't play. So now I'm like... Did the police even look into this um, once she tweeted this out? Did the mayor look into this? Like, I mean, if people like this are walking the streets, what what I want to know is what made her point directly at this guy. Something had to have happened um, for her to have the information that she has. But regardless, um, I just wanted to cover this and... And the only reason I even came to it is because of looking for something regarding Andrew Holmes that was just bugging me. And I couldn't let it go. And so that's why I was even remotely in the area of this article. So um, I have to admire this lady because in a city where nobody snitches on anything and nothing ever gets done... Um, for her to actually put this out and very publicly put it out, uh, big ups to her because, you know, that was her daughter and now she's raising her granddaughter and that's, that's just really how it should be. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this, but I'm just wondering if the, if the Chicago police took her seriously and if they, 
even checked into this. So I just wanted to bring this um, to you guys because I know some of y'all may not even remember that this had happened um, in the Chicago area. But it was, it was quite a big deal at the time to find a head in the lagoon. So, that's pretty much all I have. But, um, I'm doing some research on something else. And hopefully we'll have something to you guys soon. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys have a good night.